Oh, hello! Now we solve the following exercise using the Python language. Write a Python program with a function that receives a string of characters and check if the string is a palindrome. A palindrome is a sequence of characters or numbers which can be read forward and backwards with the same meaning. Examples of palindromes are Madam, Anna, and Otto. The function must return a boolean containing either true if the words are palindrome or false otherwise. As always, the code and the exercise list is in the description of the video and if you like, subscribe to the channel. Well, we are going to need a function here. So let's separate the function. Function. Uh, from our main code. So code is better organized. Okay, and this function will verify. Verify. If. The number is palindrome, so we can name verify palindrome and we receive a string. The function will return a flag which will be true if the number if the string is a palindrome or false otherwise. Okay, now how can we verify if the string is a palindrome? Well, one way to do it is to inverse the string and compare position to position because if the string inverted reversed and the string uh, normal are equal, then the, the string is a palindrome. Okay, so how can we reverse a string? Well, we already did the exercise um, of reversing strings in the channel. So you can search up if you want. Here we will use one of the solutions that we gave. Okay, so first we assume that the string is not a palindrome. Okay. Now what we can do is we reverse the string. Here we use the slicing. Uh, in the exercise, I gave three different ways to reverse the string. If I'm not mistaken, here we we'll use one of them, the simplest way. And now we compare our string with the string reversed. If they are the same. Then all flags too. And this should be it. And this comparison, if the string equals to string reversed, compares each position of both strings. So if, if even one of these positions are different, they are not equal. This will be false. Okay, this should be it. Let's check it. Uh, verify palindrome, the function, receive the string. We assume that's false. We assume that's not a palindrome. We create a string reversed and we check if this string is equal to the string reversed. If they are equal in each and every position, then the flag will be true and we return the flag. Okay, that should be it. Let's test it. Okay, so our test one will be with auto that the, the exercise gave us and we will print verify polynomial with test one. Okay, let's do some more tests here. Let's test with three. Auto three. This is still a palindrome. This will be test two. So we can test with number two. Okay, this should be true. And let's test one that's not true. And um, auto with a. Let's see. Yeah. Here. With I. Auto. Or tile. Okay, this is not a palindrome, this will be a test three. Okay, so this should be true. It is a palindrome, yes. This should, should also be true, it's also a palindrome. And the test three should be false. So we expect outputs true, true, false. Let's test it. True, true, false. Perfect. And just to give another Example of this comparison with strings here. If we compare character equals equals to character, it will be true. This is what we are doing. But we are doing with multiple characters. So, for example, AA equals to AA. It's true. But if you compare AA with A and uppercase A, for example, this should be false because uppercase A is not equal to lowercase A. False. And that's what we're doing. We are comparing the string with the string reversed in each and every single position. And that's it. Thank you very much.